Hey guys, it's Alexis and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a really fun video today. I am going to be teaching you guys how to outfit repeat like a pro and get the most use out of your wardrobe by styling clothes in multiple different ways. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first item we pretty much all have in our closet is a white button up. So for this outfit, I made this more of like a nighttime going out event outfit. I used a black corset to really accentuate my waist, paired it with a black mini skirt, black tights, and black boots. And then to make this outfit super fun and funky, I stacked literally all of the silver jewelry I had in my collection to make this super fun, put my hair up in a clear clip, and then paired it with this bright red leather bag. And then since it is a little chilly outside, I just threw on my black thrifted coat to go with the outfit. Again, I think this is super cute for anything that's a little bit more dressy. So this is a much more casual alternative to styling your button up. So for this outfit, I just put it underneath this sweater. You can use any pullover sweater that you have. This is just pretty much one of the only ones that I own. And to make it a little bit more fitted, I just tied it in the back and I paired it with all white and cream just because I felt like doing it. You can use any type of jean that you want though. These particular jeans are thrifted. And then I also wore my platform Chuck Taylors. And then for jewelry, I just put on a simple gold ring that my grandma gave me, my everyday pearl earrings, and then that black clip in my hair. It was actually a gift from my sister that is originally from Etsy. And then for accessories, I just threw on this jean backpack that I've literally owned since I think I was like five years old, just to make it super cute. Another item I know we all own is a graphic tee. I personally prefer to buy my graphic tees oversized so they can be more versatile in my closet. And so for this particular shirt, I just did a little side tuck into a pair of my favorite jeans. These are from Urban Outfitters. And then to elongate my legs, I'm wearing these black booties from ASOS. I personally prefer booties with outfits like these just because they make it a little bit more, I don't wanna say dressed up, but it's a little bit more elevated than me wearing just plain sneakers or like docks or something. So that's why I'm wearing the booties. And then for jewelry, I turned in all of my like thin chain necklaces into bracelets by just wrapping them around my wrist a few times. I'm wearing silver studs in my ears, silver rings, and then I have my one single silver chain necklace just to give it a little bit of pop around my neck. And then for accessories, I'm wearing this black leather coat that I thrifted as well as this little red bag that is from a store that doesn't exist anymore. And then so for the second outfit, like I said, since this is an oversized graphic tee, I can pretty much wear it as a dress. The only thing that I do wear underneath obviously is a pair of shorts or a skirt if you wanted to. And so I pretty much just am wearing the top as a dress and then I paired it with black tights, black boots, and then I just wanted to make it a little bit more fun and funky. So I put on this faux snake skin blazer, like I said, just to give it a little bit more personality. And then I did change my bag just to make it a little bit more toned down, just with this simple plain bag that's also from ASOS. And I kept on the same jewelry because I think it looked really cute with this outfit as well. Now, I could make an entire video on different ways to style a little black dress, but for the sake of this video, I tried to make it as simple as possible. So the first way I'm styling this is more so literally a style. So I made this into a more edgy outfit by pairing it with my black crewnecks and my chunky loafers from Princess Polly. And then I'm wearing just simple gold jewelry because I kind of wanted the dress to speak for itself. And then for the bag, I chose my Doc Martens Little Messenger bag. It's like PVC material, so it's see-through, which I think is really cool. And then for the next outfit, I made this into a much more girlier style. So I'm wearing these hot pink heels from Thread Up just to give it a little bit of a pop of color. And then I'm wearing this white beaded bag from a vintage store to match the pearl little barrette clip that I put in my hair. And then for jewelry, I changed it up just a little bit. I put on these big chunky pearl clip-on earrings. I think my grandma gave them to me. And then I'm also wearing this same little gold dainty jewelry as you can see right now. I did wear that in the last outfit clip, but I don't think it really made too much of a difference. I think this looks really cute. And like I said, it's just very girly, very sweet. 
And so for this look, I chose to do like a nice middle ground. I'd say this is more like funky fun, but in my opinion, I think it's both girly and edgy just because of the way it's styled. Um, so I think this is the perfect medium for the three different ways that you could style this dress aesthetically, if that makes sense. So for this outfit, I put on this little zebra turtleneck from Express. I put it underneath the dress just to give it a pop of, not color, but pattern, I guess. And then I'm wearing black tights and my black cowboy boots, like I said, just to make it a little bit more fun. And then I wanted just to keep it the all black, so I wore it with this black bag from ASOS. And then for the jewelry, I went crazy. I pretty much put every chunky gold piece of jewelry that I owned on my body, as you can see. Um, I will link below where all of the rings are from because I don't remember at this very moment and don't ask what I just did there. And then another way that you can style a little black dress or pretty much any dress in your closet is as a top. You can tuck it into pants, you can tuck it into shorts, but for this particular video, I decided to tuck it into a midi skirt. This particular skirt is from Urban Outfitters. I got it a few years ago, so I don't know if it's still on their website to buy, but I also paired it with these black suede knee-high boots just to keep the length of my legs longer. And then for jewelry, I went super sweet. I'm wearing my everyday pearl earrings that my sister gave me, little gold huggies from Bloomingdale's, my gold rings, which are going to be linked below, and then that necklace that my grandma gave me. And so the last way you can style your dress is as a skirt. So pretty much what I did for this outfit is I put it underneath one of my favorite crewnecks, and then I also put my white button up underneath the crewneck just to give it a pop of color as well. And I also like how you can kind of see it I'm coming out from underneath the bottom of the crew neck as well. I just think that adds a little bit more interest to the outfit than if it was just a sweatshirt over the skirt. And then for accessories, I'm wearing my black crew neck socks with my black chunky loafers from Princess Polly, and then my black PVC bag from Doc Martens. And for accessories, which you will see in a little bit, I am wearing my gold herringbone necklace and then my pearl necklace just to kind of keep with that preppy vibe. And then I'm wearing my pearl stud earrings that I got from St. Augustine, that's just a random shop. My favorite everyday gold rings, my gold huggies again from Bloomingdale's, and then my black checkered clip from Etsy. Now, if you've ever worked in an office, then you definitely own a pencil skirt. This particular pencil skirt is definitely not work appropriate, but I freaking love the skirt so much. And so for the sake of this video, I did style it into a more work-ish type of outfit. So like I said, for this outfit, I'm pretty much just wearing a very simple fit. It is a white blouse top tucked into the skirt with my favorite nude heels. And then for accessories, I'm just wearing my everyday gold rings, a pearl necklace, my pearl earrings, and then I just put my hair up into a lower bun to keep it out of my face. So this next outfit is perfect for date night, especially if you are going out right after work. I pretty much just styled the exact same outfit. The only thing I changed is the top and the jewelry. And I feel like silk blouses were super popular a few years ago, so 99% of us still have one in your closet. So grab that sucker, pop it on, and go out on your date because this is the perfect outfit for any type of romantic dinner. I feel like this is still sexy, but not super scandalous. I feel like you're still showing skin, but like I said, nothing too much. And like I said, I styled this with super, super dainty jewelry. This particular necklace is actually from Amazon that I got last minute for an event. I put on some basic, just gold stack rings, my everyday pearl earrings, and then my gold huggies. So this outfit is a way to style your pencil skirt in a much more casual setting. So I would pretty much wear this anywhere outside of the office. If I was going to grab lunch with my friends, running errands, literally doing anything. This would also be super cute if I was going to like the arts market or something. Um, pretty much for this outfit, I styled one of my favorite sweaters from Ann Taylor. I just tucked it into the skirt and then I styled the outfit with my white high top Chuck Taylors and this cream bag from Amazon. 
A huge tip when buying pencil skirts is to make sure you go a little bit more fashionable with it. That way you can wear it outside of the office. But I do think this outfit could work perfectly fine with a plain black pencil skirt as well. And then just to make the outfit a little bit more fun, I styled it with my chunky gold jewelry and then put my hair up into a little updo with my clear clip. So another piece of clothing that we all have in our closet is a midi skirt and surprisingly you can style this in a lot of different ways. I pretty much just stuck to two though. So for this first outfit, I went for a more traditional style. So I'm wearing my favorite anthropology midi skirt. I paired it with this black blouse from J.ing and then my black booties to just elongate my legs, make it look a little bit longer. And then for the bag, I'm just wearing a basic black bag from ASOS. And then just to make this outfit a little bit more fun, I'm wearing one of my favorite jewelry pieces of all time. It's this green velvet choker. I got this from an arts market in my hometown. And then I'm wearing just my simple gold stackers and then my everyday pearls. Now for this next outfit, I styled the mini skirt as a dress. This is a super, super early 2000s style of dress in my opinion. So I know this won't be everybody's favorite, but just as an example, this is something that you can do if you do want to get the most out of your mini skirt. So like I said, I just made this into a dress and then to keep my waistline, I used a little pearl beaded belt to accentuate my waist, obviously. <laughs> I'm wearing the same white beaded vintage bag that you saw earlier in this video and then the same hot pink thrifted heels to match the pink in the skirt and then to make it even more fun I'm wearing my pearl barrette my chunky gold earrings and then this gorgeous butterfly necklace that I got from a thrift store I know this is a 70s style necklace but in my opinion it definitely adds to the Y2K look I think that is super cute now, high-waisted trousers are super popular right now, so I know we pretty much all have them in our closet. This outfit you have definitely seen before all over Instagram, but this just serves as an example of one way to style them, and it's also extremely comfy. These trousers in particular I thrifted, and I must say, one of the easiest ways to find a cute pair of trousers is at the thrift store. I truly don't believe you need to spend $50 to $100 on the trousers that you see online nowadays. Literally go to Goodwill. Anyway, I'm wearing my platform Chuck Taylors white tank top from White Box Boutique, and then my pinstripe blazer is also thrifted, and then the black bag is from ASOS. And to make the outfit a little bit more fun and funky, I am wearing my clear hair clip just in a half up half down hairstyle, everyday pearl earrings, my little herringbone necklace, my pearl necklace, and then my everyday gold rings as well. This next outfit I styled into a much more sexy date night drinks on the weekend type of outfit. I'm wearing again those same black trousers. I'm wearing my favorite black little heels. And then the top I'm wearing is this super crop top from Free People. And then just to give yourself a little bit of coverage when you're walking around outside to avoid creepy men commenting on your fit, I'm wearing this blazer, which is a little bit more fitted than the other blazer. And then I just scrunched it up at the elbows just to make it a little bit more casual. And then I'm wearing that same black bag from ASOS. And another huge thing that I did to change the outfit is I put my black hair clip in in a little bit more of a tight hairdo. And then I'm wearing all of my chunky gold rings as well as my chunky earrings. And I left a necklace out because the top did not call for one. So this is just another variation of the high-waisted trousers just for my girls who prefer the low-rise version. So this outfit is a very casual fit. I'm wearing my favorite leather trench with my second favorite little gray crew neck sweater and I just tucked it into my low-rise trousers and then I'm wearing my favorite Chuck Taylors as well. Again, I think this outfit is super casual, but I do still think you look dressed up. It looks like you put time and effort into the outfit, 
but it is super super comfy and also these trousers are thrifted guys I'm telling you you do not need to spend a lot of money on your clothes go to the thrift store I swear they have everything you are looking for there and you can't see this on the screen but they are pinstriped which I think is really cute as well and then for this outfit this is perfect for like a girls night if you're going to the bar with your girls to get like a fancy drink or something and you just want to look super cute have fun and get dressed up I think this is the perfect outfit for that the corset I'm wearing I wore in the very first outfit of this video it's from misguided again the trousers are thrifted my heels are my favorite little stilettos that are Louboutin I'm wearing a plain black clutch from Nordstrom and then for jewelry I'm wearing the silver rope chain necklace my favorite Missouri pearl earrings and then that ring is just a costume ring from Avon do you guys remember that did any of your parents sell Avon because mine did um and then just to give yourself a little bit more coverage or if it's like a little chilly in there I just threw on this oversized blazer and I just think this is super cute and you can't see this right now but I also did put on my chunky gold earrings if you wanted to do a little bit of a different vibe than the pearls but yes that was it thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it and maybe even learned a thing or two from it but if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe and I will see you next week bye